Welcome back, family and prophetess LaShondra. Welcome to Rising Ground Church. Today, the Lord is saying that the silence has purpose. The silence has purpose. It's not always an indication that a storm is getting ready to happen. You know, we tend to say that, like, this is the quiet before the storm. And that has built up a negative connotation with silence instead of recognizing that it's sent by God, not only for you, but for him as well, so that you can be still enough so that he can work uninterrupted. Praise the Lord. So that he can work uninterrupted. When you're doing a lot of talking, even a lot of praying, because a lot of times when you're praying, you're not necessarily coming from the position of belief that it's already done. You're coming from the position of still asking in unbelief that it hasn't already been accomplished. And so in that, we can hinder, we can delay, or we can even put on pause what it is that God wants to do. So the stillness, the quietness, it's intentional by God. He wants you to rest in that place so that he can do what he needs to do without you interrupting his hand that is at work. It is at work. I know a lot of times it may not feel like it. You may not see it, but it is at work. So if you feel like the Lord is just doing this to you right now, that's what I saw in the spirit, that he's saying, shh, be quiet. Even stop speaking about these things. You know, sometimes we can speak in such a positive way that we think, I know the Lord wants me to say that, but there is a time, there is a season for all of these things. So make sure that you're sensitive to how the Lord is leading you. There are times when he wants you to speak, but then there are other times when he wants you to just be quiet. So the silence does have purpose. Ask the Lord, what is it that you want me to receive from you during this silent season? Whether that's you being silent or the Lord may be silent right now with you. It's okay. Embrace it. Really practice at embracing the silence. You know, be in this posture and this position of saying, thank you, Lord, for the silence, because I am trusting you in all things. And I'm believing that you're doing something amazing in my life. All right. I pray that this gives you a better perspective of the silence so that you can start to embrace it so that the Lord can continue to work and so that you can receive what it is that he's working on in your life and in your heart. All right, family, I love you. Be blessed. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.